In this video, I'm going to explain how to calculate rate of return for a given cash flow using IRR function in Excel. There are two ways that we can call IRR function. First, we can click on this FX icon. Uh, this window uh, pops up and uh, we can write IRR in this box, which is a search box. Go, it finds it, or we can uh, choose the financial from this list and uh, find the IRR. When we choose IRR, this window opens up and it has two boxes. The first box uh, needs you to enter the cash flow. There's a very important point in calling Excel IRR function. Uh, that requires you to enter the cash flow and it assumes your cash flow starts from year zero. So you should be very careful using IRR function in Excel. It assumes your cash flow starts from year zero or present time. So I select the, the cash flow starting from year zero and I click here or press enter. Uh, so the here it already calculated the IRR but sometimes uh, the, the IRR function cannot find cannot find the rate of return so you need to give it an initial guess if you don't know uh, if you don't have any assumption in your mind just give it 10% if it still it doesn't calculate it give it 20% and and so on and you press OK so as you can see here, the rate of return in on uh, for this cash flow, starting from year zero, is fourteen point zero six percent. The other way to call the IRR function in Excel is just uh, writing the the IRR function. You you write the equal sign, and then you write uh, IRR. You can see. Uh, Excel shows this here, that, that shows the function here. Uh, you open the parentheses, you select the cash flow from starting from year zero all the way to the year 10, a comma, and the initial guess, which is going to be 10%, uh, and the result. So we can always double check this result that we calculated rate of return uh, using uh, Excel uh, IRR function. As you know, r rate of return is a rate that makes NPV equal zero. So if I calculate the NPV for this rate, it should be exactly zero or very close to zero. So let's see, let's, let's uh, calculate the NPV for this rate. So because we are going to have uh, a payment at uh, present time, I have to enter that payment manually, and then I have to calculate the NPV of the rest of the cash flow that starts from year one uh, using the NPV function. NPV, open parentheses, rate, I choose the rate, comma, and then I select the cash flow that starts from year one. And I close parentheses. And you can see the NPV equals zero. So it shows that the, the rate of return that I calculated for this cash flow is correct. 